Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We are here with some more Soul Silver. Uh, today we're going to be doing some training, and actually there's a lot of battles in the next few episodes, just like the last few. Uh, this part of the game, there's so many trainers, uh, so we're going to be working our way through that. Um, first off, uh, we're still, where, which route is this technically? Where is the cutoff? Alright, so Route 12 is where we're at. Um, so yeah, I don't, don't want to open my Pokedex. Um, we'll go ahead and, yeah, I think we'll just keep Seeker up there for right now. Actually, yeah, we'll just keep Seeker there. Alright, so, we're going to continue our battling. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of fishermen on this, uh, little bridge route. Um, here's Fisherman Kyler. And I'll just go ahead and ask the question of the day. What's your favorite color? Um, I was like, you know, I haven't asked any question. I haven't asked many questions that aren't related to Pokemon. So I think this is going to be first one in a few, you know, questions of the day. Um, I like the color blue. I also like green. There's a lot of favorite colors. I also love red. I don't know if you notice that. Those are probably my top three favorite colors. <clears throat> I really like the color cyan. It's really pretty. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and I haven't really like, um, been commenting on this battle. It's because it's three Magikarps. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was a pretty quick, easy battle. Uh, this person will actually ask you for your number. Which, if you want to, you can, like, you know, go ahead and battle him. But he just has a team of Magikarps. And actually, when you come back to battle him, it's not like he'll evolve these Magikarps. He just adds another Magikarp to his team. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of like a gimmick trainer. Um, so yeah, we'll go up here, there's a cut item right there, or a tree that you can cut. Um, there's also an item down here you, we could actually get to. Um, <clears throat> but we need to cut for that too, which I'll have to, I'll have to go get my cut mon sometime if I want to get those. Um... Yeah. This thing doesn't even say what those are. Anyway, this guy's got three Gyaradoses. He's basically a Fisherman Kyler, but stronger. Um, so, yeah. And unfortunately, Seeker's going to use all this discharge before we can even, uh, you know, <clears throat> get through the route. Um, so, yeah. Uh, three gear doses shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, they're totally weak to electric. So if you've got an electric type, all these gear doses are just easy, simple Pokemon to, you know, you can just easily plow through them. And another gear dose. And this one should also be pretty simple, too. Alright, we even got a crit when we didn't need it. Alright, so Fisherman Barney is pretty easy. Um, I'm actually going to switch and let Zuko get a little bit of experience. We're going to battle this person right here. This person is a bird keeper. So, yeah, giving us a little break on the water types. There's a lot of water types in this area. Um, we're just going to click flamethrower. 
And that will take care of the Sphero. Nice. Alright, and then a Spiro. Um, pretty easy to take that out as well. Not too bad. Not too terrible. But yeah, there's quite a few trainers on this route. And th this is um, the part of the game where there's a lot of trainers that you have to get through. Um, I've always noticed that about the southeastern side of Kanto. There's just so many um, trainers there. Anyway, there's this house here. Um, I think this is a fisherman. And you can actually get a fishing pole from this guy. The super rod. Uh, that's actually the best fishing rod. Um, it can let you encounter like really good Pokemon. Um, for example... If you use your super rod, I mean, this isn't a good example because all you can get here are quillfish, tentacle, and magic heart. But other places you can actually get really good stuff. Um, I'm actually going to bring Omphali up front. I guess we'll battle this guy. Uh, so this guy's got a Quagsire, Quillfish, Tentacruel. Um, mostly Pokemon you've seen throughout the game. There's not really anything on this part of the game that's like, you know, going to catch you off guard or anything like that. Alright, and he's going to yawn, which is annoying, but um, I'll just let I'll just I'll let Onfoli take out this Quagsire, let, and then let Onfoli take a nap. Because <clears throat> Onfoli's not going to get much experience otherwise. Um, and I really want Onfoli to, you know, not fall too far behind. Um, so I'll switch for the Tentacool. Uh, we'll go into Zephyr. Let Zephyr take out his uh, his dull uh, water poison types with a nice, well placed psychic. Oh, we almost took it out with one hit. Wow. Anyway, it's going to put a wrap on us, and I can easily just Shadow Ball it. So I can save my psychic power points. <clears throat> um, and then Quillfish isn't that much of a problem either. Um, I feel like Tentacruel is like a specially defensive, whereas Quillfish is the physically defensive water poison type. Um, yeah, this thing's got better uh, physical bulk. So with that in mind, we should be able to one-shot it. Yeah, but that's the thing about Tentacruel. It's actually got really good uh, special defense. Alright, and... We can actually go this way. Only that leads to another route, which we'll do eventually. We gotta clear out this route first. Um, now I might actually use an Awakening. On Awfully. But for this battle, I'm actually going to, um... I have Zephyr battle. I'll go ahead and put Zuko up there too. Zuko and Zephyr battle together so this right here is a young couple um, they're going to use a magmar and a sunflora um, so that's why I wanted to have this weird team you know setup that I've got but 
but yeah. Eventually, I wish there was... See, the thing about um, Typhlosion is I wish it had a little bit wider of move pool. Um, it really doesn't really have that wide of a move pool. And even, you know, in the last generation that it was in, Gen 7, it doesn't have a very wide move pool. Maybe that's something that they'll do in um, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Maybe they'll give Typhlosion a move pull that actually makes sense. Anyway, this thing's going to set up the sun. I see what the, the you know, the idea with the, this couple's team is. Um, <clears throat> the Magmar will set up the sun so the Sunflora can actually do stuff with Chlorophyll. But the thing is, Sunflora is not that great of a Pokemon on its own anyway, so it's not going to live any hits. It's not bulky and it doesn't do a lot of damage. Alright, so Zephyr is now at 45, which is crazy thinking that Zephyr was way behind, you know, through much of the mid-game portion. Um, but yeah, I actually want to go ahead and put Eclipse up here. So we can battle this person right here. Alright, and this is the reason. Uh, we've got a Psychic type, which means they can't do anything to me. Um, I can just Secret Power. I don't have any more uh, Paybacks. No, I've got Secret Power. Wow. I really do need that Payback, though. Um, but I don't think I've got any PowerPoint. Yeah, I don't have anything for PowerPoints. So, uh, we'll just switch. We were out there, so we'll get some sort of experience off of that. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to see a wish, which is kind of annoying. Um, if we're able to one-shot it with a discharge, that would be great. Nice. All right. The tail one has petered out already. Um. Yeah, we'll switch for Noctowl. We'll go back into Eclipse, and then we'll go into Zuko, just so I can um, spread the experience points a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's the plan. And we could just Fire Blast this thing. Let's go to Air Slash. Um, Noctowl does have decent special defense. We're going to miss. Um, we're eventually going to miss Fire Blast. We've been really lucky with hitting so many times. But yeah, Fire Blast is a really good move. Hopefully we can overpower the special defense bulk on this Noctowl. Oh, almost. We almost did. And we'll go for a quick attack to finish it off. Alright, Eclipse is at level 39. Nice. Yeah, Eclipse is going to be a Pokemon that we need to train up a little bit. Because soon, Eclipse is going to be very useful. Go ahead and awfully up front we'll battle this guy right here alright and I'll go ahead and throw a brick break at this guy don't want to go for close combat until the Octillery. This guy's got a Rimmerade and Octillery, by the way. Um, yeah, Rimmerade and Octillery have a real interesting theme in their design. Rimmerade's meant to be like a... It's like a pistol or something. Whereas Octillery's meant to be 
artillery, you know, like a tank. But yeah, brick break. And we'll just take another one. Signal beam shouldn't do too much to us. I was kind of worried about... Oh, we're going to get critted. Okay. So, yeah. Not too bad. Didn't expect to get critted like that. Um... But then there's one more trainer for us to battle. It's actually that guy right there. Um, and then after that, this whole route right here would have been cleared out. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and actually battle this guy. And then we can finally heal up after all of these battles. And I'll throw a close combat at this Goldeen. This guy's got two Goldines and a Quillfish. Um, hopefully he can handle the Goldines pretty well, but Quillfish is a different a different can of worms. That's actually a really good attack stat. Um, Goldine, I'll just go ahead and close combat this thing as well. Nice. And for Quillfish, I'll just stay in, but then I'll hard switch. So that way, Onfly gets a little bit of experience. Because that's the main thing I want. We'll go into Zephyr. So we can hit this thing with a Psychic. Alright, it's going to go for Brine. Which, throughout most of the game, like, there's not a lot of moves that these Pokemon have that are, like, Gen 4 moves. Like, you don't see Brine that often in this game. Which is an interesting thing. Anyway, this guy will also ask for your number. Um, but it's just for rematches. Um, which I don't really do... But we are here at Lavender Town, which is a perfect place to hill up. Um, we might even check out this place. Um, soon we're going to have to do a little mission that involves this place. So that will be fun. Let's go ahead and heal up. And we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Um, we actually did quite a lot of training. And my Pokemon are weary. So anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.